Today I'm going to show you how to create a PDF stamp with your signature and it's going to have a transparent background so it'll fit on a line like this and it won't cover up what's underneath the document like it does here with a white background. And if you want to read about this uh, also instead of watching this video you can go to pdfautomationstation.com and uh, just read the article. So I'll show you how to do that now. First thing to do is just sign your name on a blank piece of paper and make it nice and straight so it'll fit on a line. Don't put it on an angle. It doesn't matter what type of pen you use, whatever is, um, whatever kind of pen you like. And just scan that page that has your signature on it. Scan it to PDF like I did here using Acrobat Pro DC. And now I'm just going to press the print screen button on my keyboard. So I just took a screenshot of that. I'm going to open up Paint, Microsoft Paint. I'll press Control V, which is paste. I'm going to move that into place. I'm going to click select here. I'm just going to drag a rectangle around this signature, getting as close as I can to the edges of it. And once I have that, I'll let go of the mouse button. I'll just click crop and then it gives me a size that's more um, easier to deal with. Uh, that's still a little too big so I'm going to click resize and I'm going to go with about 75 percent of that. Click OK and now I'm going to save that. Save as. I'll use PNG because that can be transparent that type of image and I'm just going to save that to my desktop and I already have something here called my signature. I'm just going to overwrite that. I'll close that. And the next step is to, I'll need to convert that ping image to a transparent background image. So I'm just going to go on to the internet here and I'll type in to Google online convert ping to transparent background. And it just so happens that when I search for that, the first one that comes up here is called LunaPick just so happens to be my favorite. It's really easy to work with. You just click here, choose file, which I'll do. I'll, I'll go to my desktop, find the my signature file, and there it is right there. It says make image background transparent. All I have to do is click on this white part. Now if you don't go, if it doesn't bring you to the same page after you upload your image, just go to edit and transparent and that'll bring you to these instructions. So I'll go ahead and click that white part. And there's my transparent image. You can tell it's transparent by the checkerboard design in the background. Now I'm just going to save that back to my desktop. So I'll click save here. And my uh, desktop, my Google Chrome set up to automatically save to the desktop. So that's already done. And that is right here. I'll get rid of this one so I don't get mixed up. Okay, so I'll go back to my PDF. I'm going to create a stamp now using that transparent image. So I'll go here to um, Custom Stamps, Create. I'll browse my hard drive for that image. And right here is a drop down that says Acrobat PDF. I'll need to change that to PNG so I can find that signature image. Here it is. And we see it right there. I'll click OK. And I'm going to put that, you can make your own category. I'm going to put that under the sign here category. And I'm going to call that Tom Smith. Click OK. And I just want to test out that stamp, make sure it's uh, transparent, make sure it works. Sign here. Tom Smith and I'm just gonna you know make sure it is transparent I'm gonna drag it over top of this other image and yep definitely uh, transparent there's no white covering up what's underneath now this is rather large um, and you don't want to have to resize it every time so I'm actually going to create another stamp using this stamped image so I'll have to uh, open up a blank PDF 
And if you press Control J, the JavaScript console will open. And if you run this code here, app dot new capital D doc app dot new doc, and I'll run that. And so now I have a fresh PDF with nothing on it. So let me stamp that again. Sign here, Tom Smith. Now let's resize that to the size I want. Now if I work off this image instead, I will get the exact size stamp as what I have here. Let me just make it a little smaller. And that looks good. Now I have to save this document. So I'm going to um, click File, Save. And I'll go back to the desktop just like everything. And I'm going to call that template. Okay, so now it's save template. So let me make my second stamp. Create, cut or custom stamps create. Browse. This time I'm going to leave it at PDF. I'm going to browse for that template file, which is here. It has been saved, so I don't have to close it. And there it is there. I'll click OK. And I'll put this into the signed here category. And I'll call it Tom underscore Smith. So you can tell these apart. I'll click OK. And let's just test out that, that stamp. So sign here. I know it's going to be the second one right there. So this time it should be a good size. Yep, it's actually the exact size as what was already there. So that's all there is to it. Like I said, you can read about it at pdfautomationstation.com and thanks for watching.